subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Marketing Cloud Consultant, CRT 550. Who should take the exam? Salesforce Marketing Cloud Consultant, CRT 550, exam has been built for candidates, with experience in Salesforce Certified Email Specialist credential with 6 months to 1 year of marketing cloud implementation, or consulting experience. Also, the exam is suitable for those, who are preparing to take, and pass the Salesforce Certified Marketing Cloud Consultant exam. Now we will talk about, skills acquired. After completing this course, the candidate will be able to perform the following skills. First, a detailed understanding of the Salesforce Certified Marketing Cloud Consultant exam covers. Second, access to the resources necessary to prepare for the exam. Third, exposure to, and practice with example test questions. Exam details. Exam name, Salesforce Marketing Cloud Consultant, CRT 550. Number of questions, 60 multiple choice, or multiple select questions and 5 non-scored questions. Time, 105 minutes. Passing score, 62%. Registration fee, 200 US dollars, plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Retake fee, 100 US dollars, plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Exam registration. First, for registration, you need to go to the official Salesforce page. It is available in two formats, one is the in-person training, and the other is the virtual training. Second, find your class by selecting your preferred region, and location in our drop-down selector on the left side of this page. Be sure to click update search to review all available options. Third, you can click here, and then choose your desired date, and complete your certification. Now we will discuss about, course outline. We shall now look at the detailed course outline. Make sure you go through all the resources thoroughly, and do not miss on any topic. Number 1. Discovery. It contains. First, provided with a set of business requirements, determine what additional information is needed to design the recommended solution. Second, given a list of branding, and creative strategies, probe for additional information that is needed to recommend an appropriate solution. Third, provided a customer environment and goals, determine the viability of external systems, that need to be included in the solution, that is, POS, CRM, e-commerce, data warehouse, data source inputs. Fourth, demonstrate how to gather requirements in order to put together the data, and segmentation strategy for the customer, that is, frequency, complexity, the volume of sending. Fifth, given a scenario that includes, customer information about subscriber acquisition, management, and attrition. Utilize this information to select solution components. Sixth, given a solution, recommend the appropriate customer skill sets required to utilize the Marketing Cloud application. Number two, Marketing Cloud Connect. It contains. First, understand the prerequisites to consider prior to starting a Marketing Cloud Connect configuration, that is, Salesforce Edition, list of integration users, scope user, administrator credentials. Second, Understand how to send an email to a contact, lead, campaign, and report via the sales, or service cloud, and marketing cloud, that is, sending, triggered, automated. Third, understand how sales, or service cloud data in the marketing cloud can be segmented. Number 3, Account Configuration. It contains. First, given a customer scenario, recommend the appropriate marketing cloud role based on user stories. Second. Determine which type of customer scenario warrants the creation of a business unit, that is, publication types, demographic, workflow processes, and organizational structure. Third, given a scenario, troubleshoot issues regarding reply mail management. Fourth, analyze the impact of applying sender authentication package to a business unit, that is, link wrapping, landing pages, image URLs. Number 4, Reporting. It contains. First, Explain how the information in data views, and tracking extracts are accessed. Second, compare and contrast standard reports, data views, and tracking extracts. Third, summarize send logs including when, or why to use it, how to create, and manage. Number 5, Data Design. It contains. First, explain the various data objects in the marketing cloud, that is, data extensions, list model, data retention model, 
publication lists, suppression lists. Second, understand available data types, retention, and template options when building a data extension. Third, understand how data is retrieved within a relational data model, that is, basic SQL. Fourth, given a customer scenario, recommend the appropriate import method with lists, or data extensions. Fifth, understand the implications of a system being database of record. Number six, email build. It contains. First, understand the required steps to build, test, and deploy an email based on customer requirements. Second, explain the various ways to individualize email content, that is, AMP script, personalization strings, dynamic content, guide template language. Third, compare and contrast the ways to individualize content, such as, SSJS, versus AMP script, dynamic content wizard, versus AMP script, or lookup rows function. Fourth, explain various marketing cloud email technologies, that is, link alias tags, impression regions, web analytics connector. Number seven, contact builder. It contains. First, explain the role and capabilities within contact builder. Second, understand how cardinality impacts data modeling. Third, summarize how to use data designer to incorporate data source into contact builder. Fourth, given a customer scenario, know how to build an attribute group to be used for a simple interaction. Number eight, journey builder. It contains. First, compare and contrast automation tools such as journey builder and automation studio. Second, given a customer scenario that includes journey builder, evaluate the requirements, activities, and steps. Third, explain the requirements for and the methods by which contact can enter a journey. Preparatory Guide for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Consultant, CRT 550. First, refer the exam guide. It is really important to know the exam objectives. You should visit the official Salesforce website to get the course outline and exam guide for the above examination. Second, training course. Salesforce offers the candidate training course for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Consultant, CRT 550. We highly recommend training courses. You can easily get training courses for the same. The training and study guide will not only help you in acing the examination, but it will also help you to develop a clear and better understanding of the concept. Third, Trailhead Academy. Academy of Trailhead is the most important aspect of your preparation guide when it comes to Salesforce. With Trailhead, the candidate can review online documentation, tip sheets, and user guides, search for the topics listed in the exam outline section of this guide, and study the information related to those topics. Fourth, join a study group. You should join some study groups, where you can discuss the concepts with the people, who have the same goal. This will help the candidate throughout their preparation. Join the Trailblazer community you can exchange ideas, ask, and answer questions, join feature groups. This will help you clarify your doubts as well. Fifth, practice test. The final step before giving the examination is to practice your preparation. Since, practice tests are one of the crucial steps you must not skip, while appearing for the exam. It is recommended to go through as many practice tests as you can. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.